Hi class, today we are going to do a small science project called The Walking Rainbow. If you missed this in class, here's a video to help you catch up. For this project, you will need six cups. They can be the same size or they can be different sizes. A bottle or a cup of water. Some food coloring. I chose to only do the primary colors, but you can add green if you want. Six napkins, I've cut mine in half, but you should also keep some napkins nearby just in case of an accident. So I forgot to record myself adding the water to the food coloring, but as you can see, I just added a little bit of the water and put two drops of food coloring in each color. Then I went ahead and placed the smaller cups in between the bigger cups. Next, I took my napkin strips and added them to the cup, putting one end into the cup with the water and food coloring and the other end into the smaller dry cup. So once you're done and you have all six of your napkins in, two ends inside of each dry cup and two ends inside of each cup of water and food coloring, then you can sit back and watch the magic happen. Watch as the colors travel through the napkins and into the dry cup. What do you think will happen? This video turned out longer than I intended it to be. So at this point, you've already got your science experiment set up. You can stop watching and just watch your science experiment or you can keep watching, whatever you wanna do. At this point, my cups have been sitting for about 30 minutes and you can see that the napkins have been colored and some of the smaller cups are starting to collect the liquid. The liquid is traveling through the napkins into the smaller cup. This is going to take a long time, so please be patient. At this point, the dry cups are no longer dry. They're now collecting colors from the two cups next to them. Now some more time has passed and you can see that the colors are starting to mix inside of the cups. What are some of the colors that you see? My cups have been sitting for about an hour now, so I'm going to take out the napkins and give you a better view of what the colors look like once they've mixed. The blue and the red mix together to make a very dark color. It's mostly blue, so it didn't turn out the color that I had hoped, but we'll come back to that one in a bit. The blue and the yellow mix together to make green. The yellow and the red mix together to make orange. So I wanted to see what happened if I took some napkin and dipped it into the dark color. I wanted to see if more of the color would shine through but it still kind of looked really dark though in person i could see the color that it should have been which was purple just a really really dark purple and you can see some of the blue shining through and now we're done thanks for watching